Welcome to Rodas Black Metal Review. Today's band is Slagmark and Slagmark, and um, there's actually two bands with the same name coming from the same genre. One is from Norway, but this band is from Germany with the debut album Purging Sacred Soils. Despite being a very new band, these guys are no newbies to the genre, but actually rather, maybe not veterans, but at least experienced in quite a few other bands. And um, it's two guys, basically, both from Germany. One is may maybe mostly known for its band Tottenwache, and the other guy is mostly known for his work with Sacrista, but also other bands coming from his curriculum Vitea. And this is how it looks like. Very simple uh, design, just a tin booklet. No lyrics, no extra information, just an image with a priest and skulls, or maybe priests, and then just cover image and minimal information being recorded early 2020. Here we have the band's metal archive site, that is search result for Slugmark, so you can see two bands and we'll just choose the Germanic one from here. Release to pre to fire, as you can see very little information, but here are the guys of the band. So you pretty much know that these guys had their own track record. Now approaching Sacred Souls is interestingly 33 minutes 33 seconds. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but then again, who gives a rat's ass about it? What we care actually about it, is it any good? And luckily I can say as much that yes, it is. This short but sweet full-length album is actually the type that you might already know from bands such as Satanic Warmaster and the like. That is raw, yet very melodic, kind of aggressive black metal. So. All in all, I would say rather Finnish sounding black metal band, despite being from Germany. Now, I guess there is something magical with this kind of style. You actually have the kind of a uh, easy to get into kind of melodic parts. That is, it's kind of a uh, hooky, you know, you have those melodies ringing in your brain and they are something that you can easily go with. And yet that this more rawish nature of the sound uh, gives you a little bit of this kind of a barbaric feeling that is it's far away from being this mainstream uh, black metal sound or any kind of melodic black metal or melodic metal in the first place so there is this nice contrast and the other hand it's melodic and kind of a light version if you will but then again due to this kind of a raspy sound it gives you this feeling that you're still among the extreme metal, obviously what is the case here. Now, because of uh, these kind of melodies, the big question is, are the melodies good? And luckily I can say they are. At least I find this album very, very enjoyable, because there is something that really works, like I just described, in a magical way. Raw, but melodic. Catchy, but still kind of a dirty. And this, my friends, is the kind of a key element to this kind of music. I mean, obviously people who are more into the kind of a softer melodic style, they probably are anyway uh, getting away from black metal, going to bands such as like earlier In Flames and stuff like that. But when you want to go into the kind of dirtier kind of a style, being more feral, this is how you do it. You just have the best of both worlds, you combine in the right way, and you just cut off the extra fat. And by that I mean there is nothing extra lengthy here. With this kind of material it would be easy to become a little bit boring if it was like 
50, 60 minutes or whatever. But when you have just 30 minutes and then some, you kind of uh, leave the thirst for more. And then you just give it another go and maybe another spin after that. In my opinion, very well-balanced album, not the most original out there, not maybe the kind of a groundbreaking release in so many ways, but given that this is the first release by this new band, I really couldn't imagine better debut album. There are few and they are scarce, you know, which are actually better with their debut albums. So Slugmark is something you totally should be checking out. If there's one album from April 2020 you should be listening to, it very well might be this one, this or Hexanu. So with that information, just click the click with these uh, links here provided in the description box. You will find their Bandcamp and Facebook. So click for more information, click for some samples and just enjoy. Thank you for watching. Take care.